In today's video, we're taking a look at how to make grilled cheese easy and simple. This is so simple, anyone could do it. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot. So you woke up today and you have some cravings for some melting cheese with bread and butter. Don't worry, we've got your back. The first thing that we're gonna need is bread. And if you wanna learn how to make loaf bread, we'll leave a link to our video on the description of this one. And for this work of art, we're gonna need two slices. But how tall you wanna make your tower, that's up to you. You are the king, queen, both or none of your castle. And our first ingredient is butter. And we need enough to cover one side of each slice. If your butter is frozen or cold, placing that cold blooded beast I mean that butter on the microwave to the froth will do the trick. Now we're ready to give a facelift to these slices of bread. We want to make sure that we get every nook and cranny of those slices. So be as generous as your hearts desire. And if they ask you what happened to the butter, just act like what butter? Now that we've completed this masterpiece and we can clearly see that yours looks a lot better. We're ready now to take it to a heat source. And in our case, we're taking it to the stove and we're using our favorite pan. You can also use a non-stick pan, you can use a skillet, you can use a toaster, a griddle, no matter what utensil you use, the technique is going to be the same. We want to place it on the number one or low and even though that it's going to take a little bit more, it's going to assure that bread doesn't burn and we're basically going to place the butter side down and you can also choose to start your heating apparatus on off and then turn it on after you place the bread because the temperature is so low it's not going to make a big difference. If you're using uneven flat surface, we like using a spatula to press the bread down to the surface and that makes sure that you have even contact everywhere. Now here comes the star of the show. No not you on the back. Please take a seat. We're talking about the cheese. In our case we're choosing sharp cheddar and the type of cheese that you use is up to you. Just make sure that you get a cheese that melts because if not you might be there for a while. Now we're ready to place our next slice of bread and as you can see we want the butter side up because when we flip Flip it, we want the butter side to make contact with the pan. And this process usually takes about six to eight minutes. We would give it three to four minutes on each side, depending on the brownness that you're looking for. And here at the Stata Box team, we like to show worst case scenario. So let's say you don't have even browning, don't worry. Once you flip it, we can always go back and flip it again and with the spatula, press it down. And that's the advantage of working with a low temperature. But let's say another scenario is that you notice that your cheese hasn't melted. You can always place a lid for a few seconds at a time to help this process. We don't want to leave the lid for the whole entire cooking process because it can keep humidity inside the pan and remove that crust that you worked so hard to get. And the last thing you want on your restaurant is for the clients to send back the food. Because how bad would it look for your restaurant rating? for yourself to send back the food to yourself. So now that we talked about the metaverse for a little bit and we have our desired color on both sides, we're ready to remove that grilled cheese closer to your stomach. As you can see, Watson's bread, it's a little bit more toasty. You can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. There's no cheese that you can't melt. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, that really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's the link to our latest video. Thank you.